Yeah, hello everyone, Dr. Lawrence Amwa here. It is very obvious that the healthcare visa route is a very popular route for people, a lot of people, especially Africans, to be able to migrate to the developed countries, the UK, USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, and all of these other countries. But again, especially in the UK, it is a very, very challenging job. It is a very, very challenging job. So for you to be able to survive and to thrive in that particular care sector, you need to be passionate about the job. You need to have the passion to be able to work with the people, to be able to support the people. So sometimes there are a lot of people because it's a very popular route and people see it as an easier route to be able to travel to the UK and to the developed countries. People who are probably coming from the engineering sector, IT sector, banking sector, maybe the teaching sector and even the construction sector are using that care route to be able to migrate to the UK. Guys, if you are not passionate about the job, if you don't know a lot of things, what goes into becoming a carer to providing support for vulnerable people who actually need it, you could land yourself into trouble. Exactly like these two guys who have recently been prosecuted by the Crown Court in Birmingham and now they have been given prison sentences. Yeah, one of them has been given a prison sentence and one of them has been given a suspended sentence. So, guys, it is very, very apparent. It is very, very important that before you decide to take any sponsorship work within the healthcare sector, make sure that you know the in and outs of the workings of the healthcare sector in the UK or the particular country that you are looking to visit so that you don't get yourself into trouble. Otherwise, by you trying to migrate using an easier route like the care visa route to be able to get to the UK or to get to any other developed country, the USA, Canada, Australia, and all these other countries, if you are not passionate about the people that you're going to be caring for, if you are not, you don't understand how the care industry works, yeah, you haven't got the experience, you haven't got the skills, you need to have that empathy to be able to work with them, to have the compassion, to have the zeal, you need to love what you do. Otherwise, sometimes some of the, uh, the, uh, the clients that you're going to be looking after, the people you're going to be caring for, they can be very, very challenging. Some of them have got mental health issues. A lot of them have got mobility issues, old age, dementia, schizophrenia, and all of that. Some of these various, various issues. Some of them are in palliative care, and you need to provide different levels of support. And you need to love what you are doing. Otherwise, if you do not have the compassion, you do not have the love of it, it could be landing you in prison. It could be landing you in jail. Just like these two guys. One of them has been given a 12-month jail sentence and the other has been given a suspended sentence and also some social hours that they need to work for. So guys, we need to be careful if we are looking to migrate with the healthcare visa route. And I hope share this video, like it, so people who are looking to come from other sectors, from the teaching, from IT, from construction, uh, from the banking sector, economic sector, and all of that, looking to migrate because they think that the care route is an easier route to migrate to the developed countries. You might want to think twice about this. Like, share, and follow this page if you want to know most of the information about travel, about visa route, about study, obviously, within the UK and a lot of other advanced countries. God, Richard, bless you. Take care, and I'll see you on the other side. Take care. Bye for now.